Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. This is episode 2 of my gluteal series, of my glute series, which is really exciting. I'm so happy you liked the first episode which was about frequency or how often you should train your boo tea. I really, really hope it was helpful. The feedback was really good so I'm really happy about that. Anyway, today's video is all about... Da, 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 da. Okay, so literally I am so excited. I think a lot of you already know, but the My Coach School, so my coaching school, my business, we, like I have with Ben and Sam, you know, you know the score, the My Coach School link below. We are releasing our own resistance bands. Our bands are called the MCS Booty Loop Bundle. So the reason we have two, I'm going to go into more detail in the video, I'm going to go into detail why you need bands, so essentially this is Glute Series Episode 2, why you need to use the MCS Booty Loop, so how is it is going to help your glute training, how is it going to advance your growth in your glutes as well. So this is the first band and this is the MCS Booty Loop, this is the second band and this is the MCS Booty Loop Activator, okay? So I'm gonna break it down. I keep playing with it because I'm that excited. I'm gonna break it down for you. Go into detail about the bands, everything you need to know, when you need to use them, why you need to use them, what exercises, how it's gonna help you. Okay, so first things first, this is something that I have wanted to do for an awfully, awfully long time and I have tried and tested so many different bands and for me personally, I've never found a band that kind of hits the sweet spot with what I need for my glute training. Like they were either so resistant, as in like they were so tight that I couldn't do anything, which was really discouraging, or they were so loose that they'd fall down, or I'd do something for glute activation and my glutes would just feel killed off before I've even started my session. Hence why it's taken a bit longer. Now I can't remember the last time I actually stepped foot into the gym without my resistance bands. And from the very start, since I started using them, which was probably about a year ago, not these obviously, not my, my coach school ones, but when I started using bands, it was probably about a year ago, and I saw such a drastic change in my glute training, specifically because I wasn't activating my glutes in the first place, so I wasn't getting ready for my sessions, my glutes weren't ready to train. And also adding things to like hip thrust, especially when I can't feel my glutes, adding a band, wow, let me tell you changes the game. The basic principle behind a resistance band is it pulls your legs inwards. So when you're using it, so can you have your legs in, it pulls the legs inwards which means you have to use your upper glute max and your glute medius to abduct and keep the legs out. So essentially it places double duty onto the glutes. So those glutes of yours have to work that little bit harder. I can't stop looking at my hair. Right, look at that. It's like a fluff ball. I had it done yesterday as well. Do you know what it is? It's because I went in the rain, guys, and then when I go in the rain, my hair's like, phew. Hi. We're just going to flatten it, and we'll just ignore the hair. And if you hadn't noticed the hair before I said that, now you do. Now, let me just go into a little bit of detail about the actual MCS Booty Loop bundle. So the bundle is where you will receive both of the bands, because obviously you use them for different things, and I will tell you why you use this one and why you use this one and why they're different sizes and different resistances. But with the bundle, obviously you will get a more medium high resistant, which is kind of harder, so a high resistant makes it harder. And you also get a lighter resistance band, which will make it a little bit easier for you. They're both premium fabric bands with the rubber slip grip in the middle. So this means when you're training and you have it around top of your knees or if you're the type of person who has it below the knees, they're not going to slip and fall. There is nothing more annoying than a band rolling down mid lateral band walk, whatever you're doing. It is the most annoying thing. So both the bands, and initially when we first had a few samples, this didn't have it in, but I wanted it in because when you are doing glute activation, I'd rather it not slip down. So this means your band is not going to shift. They're 60% polyester cotton and 40% rubber, which actually makes them very, very durable in terms of the fabric through the toughest workouts. And if you are doing my glute workouts, I mean, they are very, very tough. Now, the best thing about the bands, they do come in a little black bag, a little cotton drawstring bag. That's when you get the bundle, which I don't have on me. It's at the office. How awful 
is that of me. But they do come in a little bag, so it's easier for you to carry it, carry around. They're pretty compact. You'll put them in the bag. And what I noticed, because I did take these on holiday with me, you can do band exercises absolutely anywhere. You just need a piece of ground to be on to do and a bit of space to do band work. So they're very good for travelling. Obviously, I know it's summer and stuff, so the best thing to do is just pack them in their little bag and take them with you. Both of the bands are 13 inches in length, if you can see, but in width, this is two inches, and in width, this is three inches. So let's firstly talk about the MCS Booty Loop, which is the daddy of all bands, which is the higher resistance band. Now with this band I would recommend you use it more so for your compound lifts not your glute activation because if you use this band for your glute activation it would more so destroy your glutes before you start and that's not the aim for glute activation at all. You want to stimulate the glutes you don't want to just kill them off straight away so this band in particular unbelievable for barbell hip thrusts. I always throw this band on. Sometimes I will do the full sets of hip thrusts with the band on. Sometimes I do a set of barbell and I add the band on after. It honestly kills your glutes. Adding a band places double duty onto the upper glute max and the glute medius and your glutes will be burning after using these for hip thrusts. So my main exercise I would recommend is hip thrusts. You can use them on leg press, you can use them on squats as well but predominantly you would use this for your barbell hip thrusts. Now, this little juicy little saucy thing is stretchier. So if we see how far that stretches, it's literally across the whole screen, whereas this one is tougher. So with this resistant band, this is your MCS Booty Loop Activator. Like I said before, I didn't use to activate my glutes, so telling your glutes to wake up before recession is the most important thing. You can't expect to walk into the gym start hip thrusting, start squatting, start deadlifting, whatever you're doing, and expect the glutes to recruit maximally. It just won't work because they're not actually ready to train. There isn't a ridiculous amount of research into glute activation, but a lot of coaches, a lot of athletes, a lot of the coaches of like high performance athletes and things like that have noticed masses of difference in their glute development training because they've used bands. Someone that I obviously look up to a lot is Brett Contreras who is an avid band fan as well and using them for glute activation to actually wake your glutes up before a session and I know I've used them for the past year before that my glutes weren't ready a lot of exercise as well I could actually feel in my quads I could feel my hamstrings I was so pissed off that I couldn't feel it in my glutes and then as I actually started to activate them and wake them up properly and then went into my session, I would feel 10 times better. And you've already developed that like internal mind to muscle connection with your glutes as well. With glute activation, the idea behind it is to include a variety of low, low drills that are gonna hit multiple areas. And obviously, I will give you some examples and pop on the screen for you as well. And with glute activation, you don't wanna be doing 100 plus reps of glute bridges or whatever you're going to do because you will literally just destroy your glutes that's not the aim five to ten minutes before your session is pretty much all you will need obviously it's dependent on you as a person you might need a bit less you might need a bit more but if you did watch glute series episode one which was about the stretches activation and pumpers as well you will know that a lot of these exercises where you do use the mcs boot sleep activator are pumper exercises which aim to overload the metabolic stress pathway with metabolites i hope that didn't sound too confusing basically it's pumping up the glutes it's that massive pumped balloon effect you feel from using these bands i use them for finishes i also use them for glute activation you need to get yourself a pair of the bands i will obviously give you so much more information about the release dates and things as time goes on because that's so important for you to know but obviously there's a lot of shit to do there's a lot of stuff to do basically but i would keep you in the loop See what I did there? No, I'm just really, really excited. I'm really proud of the bands that we've produced. I just, I just love them. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I was an excited puppy when I was talking to you, so I do apologise if I spoke at the speed of wind. That wasn't my intention. Also wearing the new Vital Seamless Khaki from Gymshark, which is really, really cute. I'm not sure on those release dates yet either, but I will let you know as soon as I know, you know. I'll let you know as soon as I know the release dates of these items. 
really hope you have a wonderful evening if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you for glute series episode three